Hello, this is Geotechland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at GNOME 43, which was just recently released. This update to GNOME doesn't bring about any major changes, but more so rather a lot of little changes. One major change is this top right menu here. This gets a bit of a makeover, very much influenced by Apple's Big Sur or iPad OS, I would say. And I like the change. I think part of why they made this change and decided to have sort of bigger buttons here. The buttons here are bigger, so they're easier to select, especially if you're on a mobile or possibly a tablet device. GNOME has been putting a lot of work into making GNOME friendly across many different devices. But on the other hand, it also just makes setting these changes much easier. Instead of having to go to your settings and clicking multiple times, you could just click here once and change this to light or dark mode. You can see it has changed. Although I guess the odd thing is that the shell itself appears to be staying in dark mode. That's kind of odd, but it appears that it is intentional. It'll also be easier to change the sound input. A lot of work is going to go into making changing that much easier instead of again having to fiddle around with the settings here. The one other big change is that they did update libadeweta. While a lot of the updates for that are under the hood, one very subtle difference is that the top bar has been changed to provide a little bit more contrast between the header and the body of the windows. I actually like the previous header bar. I know it's a very subtle change, but it looked a lot sleeker and cleaner. But at least it's supposed to look a lot better in light mode, which it kind of does. You know, there's more contrast here between the header bar and the body. Now, most of the changes to GNOME 43 are to the additional apps that have been ported. The Files app, for example, is probably the more important app. And part of a change here with the Files app is that it is made to be a lot more mobile friendly. So if you resize this, you can see that the folders change like this. Again, all in the name of making this mobile friendly. And you can even click here and load the sidebar. And if you go to the About Files, I know it says 44.alpha, but it is essentially the latest release of GNOME 43. But even these About Us is another new introduction to GNOME. Now they're designed to be a lot more mobile friendly. Another app that has been ported to GTK4 is the Maps app. Although the Maps app itself probably needs lots of improvements, it's still been updated to this latest GTK4 and has this newer About Us here. One new change to the software center is that now when you go to an app, let's say we go to the fragments app. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you now see other apps by the same user or organization that created this app. The calculator app itself has been updated to the latest GNOME 43. Another big update is that the GNOME web, which is actually still using GTK3, has been updated and one neat feature is that it's going to allow you to in install websites as a standalone app. Let's test it out here. Install site as web application. And this feature was actually available sometime in the past, but then they scrapped it and then decided to re-add it again. Now we get YouTube and it gets its own window here. And this is a really cool feature. I really wish this will be ported to GTK4, but but most likely for GNOME 44, I think that will be ready. Another app that has been ported to GTK4 slash libadeweta is GNOME Builder, which is the main developer platform that is used to create GNOME apps. I think it's mostly used by the GNOME dev team, but this has been ported. You know, it's got this nice mobile about page. I'd be curious to see what other developers think about Builder. It's comparable to something like VS Code, but it is looking really nice. If you click the three dots here, you can change it to light mode and even go to preferences and change it to all these other options here, which is very neat. But otherwise, I'm sure there's a lot of other little changes, but I feel like these are the most noteworthy ones. GNOME 43 is more of a refinement more than anything, but it is a good refinement. Hopefully in the next version, we'll see some more interesting updates because there was something that was talked about and that is having accent colors like what we see in Ubuntu. That was supposed to be coming to GNOME 43. 
So again, most likely we'll see that in GNOME 44, which should be a more exciting feature. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think of GNOME 43? Do you think it is the most premium Linux desktop platform? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my videos, you can support the channel on LibreaPay or Patreon and check out some more videos on YouTube, Odyssey, or PeerTube. And feel free to follow me on Mastodon or Twitter. See links in the description below.